Doctor Education presents Mechanism of Losing Weight Part 1 The Journey of Sugars Almost everything you eat is digested and broken down to glucose or simple sugars which is absorbed into the blood causing a temporary increase in blood sugars. More sugar in diet is equal to more sugar spike in the blood. Your blood carries glucose to all your organs where it is utilized as energy for all your day-to-day -day activities. So over the next few hours there will be a gradual decrease in your blood sugar levels. That is why you have to eat again. The body tries to maintain a blood sugar level within the target range of around 90 to 120 mg per dl. If you eat more than you exercise or if you have diabetes then your blood sugar will be higher than the target range and your body tries to save all this extra sugar by converting it into glycogen which gets stored in your liver and once your liver is full the extra sugar is converted into fat and stored in your bellies and butts this is how you become fat and overweight now when you are dieting or you exercise more than you eat then your blood sugar is lower than the target range and your body starts making glucose from this glycogen stored in your liver. Usually initial 20 minutes of exercise will deplete your glycogen storage and then the body starts using the protein in your muscles and fat in your belly to generate glucose. That's why when you lose weight you also lose some muscle. But this process of making glucose from fat and proteins releases toxic byproducts like ketones which if produced in large amounts can have dangerous side effects. The more you exercise to burn your fat, more will be the ketone production. Water is needed to flush out these ketones through the urine. So whenever you are dieting, it is very important to keep drinking extra water regularly. The key to losing weight is to burn more calories then you eat. Dieting can help you do this but it rarely leads to a permanent weight loss unless you are ready to diet for the rest of your life. Also many diet plans do not provide all the nutrients your body needs. So in addition to a diet plan adding Regular exercise in your daily life is very important if you want to lose weight permanently. In the upcoming videos, we will learn about how much exercise is enough, what kind of food you should include while dieting, what are the basics of dieting concepts, what kind of body you have and how exactly can you lose weight by the minimum efforts possible? So keep in touch with my channel by subscribing it and like and share this video and do comment if you have any questions or queries on this topic. This is Dr. Education and you're watching Mechanism of Losing Weight, The Basics.